fit it in and everything like that. It's so good. You're looking very good. Oh, thanks. Thank you like it over there. Oh, yeah, I love it. Well, I'm anxious to learn because it's really impressive. I'm glad you're up in Beijing, you know, because yeah. last time we were in touch, you were in Taiwan. Right. Different proposition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so I'm so glad we could fit this in and everything like that. And welcome. Welcome very, very much to Conversations, where it's a pleasure to welcome to the program an old friend of myself and of Conversations and of the world. And that being uh, Robert Blom, and he's an investment banker, and he's an economist, uh, supply side uh, yeah. economist, a friend of uh, Robert Mundell, the famous Robert Mundell. And he's also an energy expert, and he's got a very interesting situation. He's had a long interest in energy policy and energy questions, and he's been living, if I'm going to get it straight, and I want to read your introduction uh, to the audience, but he's been living for the last year or so and teaching and conferring with the government of, or the people responsible for uh, China in Beijing, China, and he's here just temporarily for a few days here in New York. Glad we were able to get him here and so forth. And let me read, Bob. Welcome very, very much. And I wonder, I got a brief introduction, might take a minute or two to read, but I'll read that to introduce you, and then we'll get into a discussion about, um, oh, energy and yeah. other questions and so forth. But let me read this. It's Robert Blom is an American-Canadian investment banker, economist, and statistician who, for over a decade, has advised the United States, Canadian, and Japanese electrical natural gas industries on market structure and operation and on transmission and pipeline systems planning and operation. He arranged the first exchange of personnel between Japan's Ministry of Economy, Technology, and Industry, which now is METI, right. rather than METI, which right. I had, uh, and the U.S. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, right. F-E-R-C, right. through his principal Japanese collaborator, Minister Nobuo Tanaka, right. who has been appointed, who has just been appointed the incoming executive director of the International Energy Agency. We want to find out what that is yeah. and so forth, yeah. but let me finish the, uh, the uh, Mr. Bloom is the first foreign editorial advisor to China's Oil and Gas Industry International Petroleum Economics Monthly and currently serves as a technical expert based at North China Electric Power University. Interesting the way they got the university set up, we'll talk about it, but anyway. He has served on task force of the North American Energy Standards Board and the North American Electrical Electric Reliability Council, or NERC. Prior to involvement in energy, he coined the term the Internet Economy. You, you coined show. that term? Yeah. Yeah, you did. We it did a show about that. That's not a small. You got that trademarked and everything? Did no. You? no, okay. All right. That's the Internet Economy. And with the first to publicly estimate its size. There's a lot we're going to be able to talk uh, about, as you can see. But let me finish the introduction. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, at several Japanese and Canadian investment banks, he helped expand the Japanese capital market to recycle Jap Japan's capital surplus to Canadian governments, go corporations, utilities, and banks, and to supranational organizations. Mr. Blom recently wrote several opinion articles in China's People's Daily, and the China Daily, I mm -hmm. presume those are newspapers, right. supporting China's 11th five-year plan, stable renminbi economic policy, energy policy, marketization trend, and the harmonious society's compatibility between markets and socialism. Right. We could talk for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, let me finish. The, article ha the articles have been reproduced, republished by China's Economic Daily, Petroleum Daily and Electric Power News and something unpronounceable, Xinhua. Oh, Zin, no, Xinhua, the uh, New, si China, New China News Agency. Xinhua News Agency, NPCC, N -N CNPC, PetroChina, the, the State Grid Cooperation of China. State Grid Corporation. The State Corporation, sorry, of China. China's Ministry of Commerce, State Economic and Trade Commission and State Council Information Office, the China Electric Engineering Society, the China Power Engineering Society, the China Academy of Social Sciences, and Renmin Universities. People's Universities. Ren that means people's? People, yeah, Renmin right. means people's? Okay, it's interesting. Okay, we lot uh, University. Uh, China Center for Civil Law. Mr. Blome has been interviewed on CCTV's Nine. That's Central China Central TV. Yeah, right. English, uh, Dialogue program, right. a major program, I take it, on Chinese television. 
Mr. Bloom is listed in Who's Who in America, Who's Who in the World, Who's Who in Finance and Business. He holds a postgraduate degree in economics from Columbia University and an MBA in international finance and a BA in philosophy and mathematics at McGill University. Mr. Bloom helped arrange the first visit to China in 1995 by his professor, Nobel economist Robert Mundell, defender of the fixed RMB. Quite a resume. There's a lot packed into there. It's very neatly put together. It's like a haiku palm. You got so much <laughs> packed in. So, Bob, welcome very much, and you've been doing it, getting a lot done. And it's good to see you again. Welcome back to New York. Thank You're you very here much. for just a couple of weeks or something right, more, I guess, right, right and everything. Well, it's, uh, spring, uh, spring festival time or something. Oh, it's New Year's time, isn't it? That's right. It's, it's yeah. New Year's. They celebrate New Year's in a big mm, way China over there. Has three big civil holiday periods uh -huh. every year. Mm -hmm. It's a society that works very hard, mm -hmm. but then they take these three long vacations. One's Every New Year's? Everybody. Yeah. One is the, the Autumn Festival, which is early, nas so-called National Day Autumn Festival, uh -huh. beginning of October. First like Oktoberfest. October. Everything shuts down. Exactly. Everything shuts down for the how long? Country, one week. All vacations. One whole week? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Then this Chinese New Year, yeah. which is between one week and two week holiday, depending. It's mm -hmm. the maximum two weeks. Yeah. And then the uh, other one is May Day holiday. May Day because of the communism? Uh, well, the International Labor Day, it's a one week, or it's also called Golden Week in the Japanese tradition uh -huh. of May 1st. Uh -huh. So uh, it's, it's either called Golden Week or, or, or la Labor Holiday, another week, first week of September. Everything what happened to Christmas? Down. There's no Christmas? What, they Actually, they how can they get away no, without celebrating? Or do they celebrate Christmas You would be also? surprised they're how much Christmas Christ. They're getting all the holidays in, right? Well, they're, getting they? yeah. they're, they're having their cake and eating it's it, like too. Like the Jews get to do but, hot Christmas and Hanukkah. Right. Uh -huh. There's a lot of Christmas decoration celebration in China now, yeah. in Beijing. All over Beijing, I was very surprised. And they have that up in Harbin or something? They have that oh, the uh, ice. Uh, ice very the ice festival is wonderful. It starts at Christmas time and goes on for a month. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, a little longer than a month. It's the largest uh, of its kind now, bigger than the Japanese. Uh, so, Bobby, it's world. an interesting place to be now. Oh, You're having a great. good time over there, oh, yeah, and yeah. you're teaching, and you still got your contacts back here in New York yeah. or back in the states. Right, of course. Yeah, no, I'm everything. helping out too with uh, some U.S.-China uh -huh. uh, cooperation. And, and uh, you're here. You'll be going back in a week or so, that's back right. again at the end of the holiday, right. and uh, uh, that sort of thing. So, I'm really glad you were able to get that. Last time we were talking to you, you were down in Taiwan. It's a different kettle of fish. That's right. Yeah, very different world time. between Taiwan and mainland China. Uh, yeah. For for example, the yeah. Taiwan Taiwanese economy isn't uh, booming anymore. It's not. No. Mm. Nor is Hong Kong. Uh -huh. So you've seen. Nor is Hong Kong. No, uh -huh. no. But you've seen. I mean, not booming in the sense yeah. of s strong growth. Yeah. Because they've been hollowed out. Mm -hmm. In other words, industry has moved out of there and moved to mainland China. It's gone to mainland. So now. big growth. So young people uh, in Taiwan look to moving ultimately. To mainland China, that's where the opportunity is. That's where the opportunity. So Taiwan's a very stable economy. It uh, needs to uh, undergo the same, practically the same level of economic reform that mainland China has been undergoing. In fact, that we're at the point now mm -hmm. where the state sector is probably a bigger percentage of Taiwan's economy than it is of mainland China's economy. That's really In other words, now mm -hmm. mainland China is the capitalist country and Taiwan is the socialist country. Yeah, it's a big, big change that's taking place, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it used to be, I mean, suppose you talk with a lot of people and you're learning Chinese, which right, is a big right. task. I congratulate yeah, you on that. Made, made some progress. You can get around okay yeah, now oh a little sure. bit? Yeah, yeah. You said you go on the subways, unlike yeah. some of the people yeah, over there? Yeah, I take the subways and in Boston. And you have to speak Chinese. That's right. Yeah. Could you say they something like in Chinese? People. Say uh, something like, Welcome to uh, New York City or something like that, just to hear your Chinese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, 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 are you getting to where you're conversational with it? Uh, uh, yeah. Very good. Very very good. good. I'd have no <laughs> idea what you said, of course, but uh, the Chinese <laughs> they will know, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're getting comfortable. You're not being able to talk uh, philosophically or anything. No, no, you, that's yeah. basic stuff. Yeah, but, uh, it's a big difference. The Chinese. What, there's what I, I would call functional Chinese. It's functional. Functionally, I'll, now, I'll probably the in another stop few months. And how do I get to the store? Yeah, and I mean, f further. Do you enough, lecture? You can't I mean, lecture in Chinese. Not yet. Not in yet, but I hope maybe you aim to. You want to lecture in China? Yeah. What's the long-term prospect? Do you think you're going to be over there for a while? Have you got an arrangement? 
arrangement with the university? And maybe you could talk a little bit about the university system. You were chatting with me about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm at the Electric Power University, uh, somewhat at the behest of the electric uh, industry. Yeah, uh, big and issue. The base. Yeah. Uh, and uh, China uh, organized its um, uh, university system, or, uh, originally its graduate schools, mm -hmm. around, around um, postgraduate universities, around the key sectors of the economy. So there's what's called the Petroleum University. Actually, there are seven of those in China. I don't think we have something comparable to that, do we? Uh, to ex some extent. I mean, we have engineering schools. We have like uh, what we had was Brooklyn Polytechnic, or right. we Rensselaer. So we had polytechnic schools, w which were engineering. We have uh, me you know medical mm. schools and so on. But China specialized it around Down sectors in industry, of yeah. the economy mm -hmm. in particular. So uh, uh, as, as opposed to, to multi-faculty science schools uh, there w there w there is a chem chemi chemical universities mm -hmm. there is a petro there as i mentioned petroleum universities mm -hmm. there is a university where i am which is north china electric power university you're That's north china not south china uh, yeah but actually it's th basically the only one mm -hmm. and uh, it's the electric power university mm -hmm. where uh, most uh, practically all the engineers employed in the power industry have Graduated from mm -hmm. from that university. They go there, and so it's a specializing in something. Yeah, it's like specializing. That. But you can bring your special understanding of the electric well industry that's in North America. They're very interested in understanding and learning international experience. I shouldn't think they would because uh, we world we're, we're in advance in terms of the world. Or uh, well electricity yeah. is everywhere in the world, but that's a standard. That's a generic thing that has to be understood in any country <laughs> to get electricity <laughs> out right. effectively to the whole society. And that's what you're involved with. Yeah, the equipment is the same, but it's how how you how you are, uh, organize the system and arrange the system. Uh -huh. Remember, it's not. Some people like to look at an electric system as a as a, as a pure m machine or as a giant machine, but uh -huh. actually it involves people. So sure. it's, it's a socio-technical system. Uh, to the extent that it involves people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the how, how there 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 are many ways. Uh, that you can you can arrange this and operate this system, so that's uh, a challenge. You're talking about the arrangement of the industry itself. You're not talking about the population's relationship to ha being on the grid and so forth. W the arrangement and operation of the actual grid, mm -hmm. where you locate power power generation, how you manage it, uh, how you evaluate it, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. how you operate it as an economic system, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. uh, how you price it. Do you have to understand? The, yeah, or do you have to understand all of those things within the context by which they operate their society? Uh, you know, large view of the macroeconomic considerations and so forth. Well, let's or put it this way: yeah. when you plan any any s system like that, and, mm -hmm. and you you invest, I would think you would have to anyway. And you invest capital. You yeah. have to make some judgments about the future about where where will the economy grow right for example or if you uh, in a large urban area you uh -huh. have to make some uh, judgment and Population understanding trends, about yeah. you know wh how which way this is so you have enough capacity to serve the, the load at, at, at right and so and on so you need to you need to you need to for you know however people say y you know of course in a market economy where we move away from central planning and from planning uh, it still remains very true that in a market economy you need to plan. Anybody who doesn't plan or, or forecast in a market economy well. is crazy. So and any, you would anyone, want to anyone who makes a capital investment is yeah. making some judgment about the future. I so would think so. And you got planning. a mix of capital and public stuff going on there. I mean, but it's all one society. And the thing is, the degree to which you are able to have a comprehensive systems understanding of what's going in, going on. So you'd want to know population trends. What are the likely economic right. demand capabilities yeah, right, of right. the people to buy? What can be done? What are the industrial? You'd want to have. Do you have to have that kind of a sort of systems overview in terms of yes, operating and but advising but the yes, Chinese on yes, what they're doing? Yes, but here's mm -hmm. something very important to keep mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. There are two ways to approach this. Yeah. You can approach this in a centralized way, as in in the 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 in in the manner of. C central central planning. Well, Single would that be coordinated central planning, or mm -hmm. you can do this by a kind of decentralized planning. For example, in a more of a market context, if you have uh, multiple parties uh -huh. <coughs> making judgments mm -hmm. and taking risk mm -hmm. about where to invest the capital, mm -hmm. making judgments about where is the system going to grow, what should we have mm -hmm. here. Uh, I think, and it, and it has been shown, you tend to get a better outcome 
than if you have only one single decision maker well, all right, you who is operating, who is making decisions for the entire system about, well, we should put this much here, this much okay, here. Okay, let me ask you a question off this yeah. same way of thought, because you said central plan, you use central right. planning. Central planning has not been in your term, because I said earlier, you want to have a systems understanding. Right. You don't want to be reductionist, to reduce down to one part of a system, because there's a system interlinking of everything. And I suppose right. somebody in some place has responsibility for the overall there system. Needs now, if that's central planning, yeah. it, might, no, involve, that's another it issue. might involve central yeah. planning in the sense of government, yeah. or it might involve the activity of people that are in the private sector. But overall, it's systems understanding, and it brings the, the both together. You want to have a responsible understanding of what's going on comprehensively so that you can set your goals yeah, what, and standards, what I'm, what whether they're market or, or, or government what, what decisions I'm have to be also Feasibility studies have to be right. built into both sides of the equation, don't what they? Yeah, what I'm thinking. Okay. What I'm thinking. And based on good information rather than yes. ideological so what, I, what, what I'm referring to is coordination. Coordination. Right. Coordination. Well. And coordination mechanisms and so on. But actual decisions can be. You can have decentralized decision making and at the same time some coordination. Because after all, if I'm going to make this decision and so on, I would I would prefer that somebody else doesn't do something. Uh, and it's going to mess it up. Whereby the end result is we both lose. Goes what? Whereas, you know, I <coughs> if I decide to make an investment or do something, mm -hmm. then somebody else goes and does something. Uh, uh, a, a, another thing c could could go ahead and do another thing, and the end result would be we cancel each other out. Yeah, and yeah. We both well, lose. obviously, so that's uh, what I'm trying know, to say. But to my way of thinking, I just use the term comprehensive. So you got an, a design. You understand the design. You want to have right. the best information. And it would be, because you spoke about how it's gone from, they used to have Karl Marx. They oh, used to read, everybody right, read right, Karl Marx right, and they right, went right, through right. a thing. I was wondering how the universities were organized under the communist system and under the sway of Western thinking Karl Marx and so forth, mm -hmm. that's another issue. But whether or not, I in the business world, you have to have, if you're going to make a proposition, if you're going to go to a bank or a financing agency or whatever it is, you have what they call a feasibility study. That's right. And that's a feasibility study that better be very well based upon good information about the likely payback to the investors and that kind of thing. Right. You have the same thing in a government thing. We talk about private sector, public sector. Public sector people also have the need to have good information about that's what's going right. to go on. And it's very complicated. They don't use the term feasibility, mm -hmm. but it is feasibility, so you blend the two. The two uh, responsibilities of leadership <coughs> or of understanding, right. and it seems right. to me it's comprehensive. Mm -hmm. And you can provide some of that coming out from uh, training, and they're interested in yeah, what I you understand so. about the operation of this system, right. which is mixed in the, in the West and so forth. And so you, you can bring some of that to them? Yeah, I have to say, and uh, I think most you know, Chinese would agree with me, that, uh, that, uh, that, that economic decision-making uh, was, was traditionally based more on the notion of, uh, or more exclusively, on ideas of, on, on, the, on the idea of increasing output, yeah. or with a focus on output, well, but not yeah. so much a focus on input or efficiency. In other words, size. Let's produce more. What are our production targets and so on? Yeah. Well, this is one of the reasons for the collapse of the Soviet Union, right. because you've got to think not just in terms of output, but also of input. In other yeah, words, and you also the more, yeah. if you and, and when you do that, what is the difference between input and output? It's profit. Yeah. Profit is basically just a measure of efficiency. So the private investment. So in other words, the idea, yeah, the yeah. well, anyone, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's socially responsible. It's mm -hmm. a waste of so. It's a waste of resources. Yeah, uh, yeah. uh, if uh, you know, private or public, it's a waste of resources. Yeah, uh -huh. If something's done inefficiently. Yeah, right. So the right. idea is, for a unit of output, you want to minimize uh -huh. the input, or for a unit of input, you want to maximize the output. Spoken this like a kind, statistician. This kind mm. of thinking mm -hmm. is still developing. In China, yeah. in other words, lots going uh, on, yeah. more and more. But there, there, what, there, 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 there is in a large. There has been in larger industries a, tr a, 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 a tradition of of, 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 looking more exclusively at output and of size mm -hmm. and of large scale. Mm -hmm. And this isn't always the most efficient way to do things. Right. Sometimes smaller scale yeah. depends. So this, these kind, this kind of analysis yeah. is still. Is still in process. Market signals can be really good for getting at some of those things, those w macro things, micro yes, things. Yes, you know, for example, locational signals. Yeah, right, and sometimes, right. it you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, and 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 also not just that, production versus services. Uh -huh. Another, of course, uh, you know, China is coming out of a culture of a 
production economy, mm -hmm. you know, originally heavy industry, then mm -hmm. you think about light industry, mm -hmm. then you think about things like transportation. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon you're talking about something called services. Mm -hmm. And the Chinese are also learning and understanding the evolution. Still, they're very largely a production and a processing economy. You know, they're importing uh, 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 um, uh, materials yeah. from, well, that too, yeah. but, but yeah. materials from, for example, Southeast Asian countries, mm -hmm. repro putting more value, value in and re-exporting them to the United mm -hmm. States and yeah. so on. This is very good, still production. But everything Ch China we buy is in moving. The, in America anymore is made in China. Well, Have you noticed? Made, Go to the stores. Made everything or is processed made in China. China. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're you're benefiting from Chinese labor, yeah. and very very importantly, yeah, we and Chinese yeah. know-how. But let me back. Up. Let me ask. Uh, that's interesting. It really is. It's all. It, you want to finish the thought? Go yeah. Ahead. The finish idea the is though, to understand, and this is part of the government objective. They want to, in the, in the, uh, which I agree with, uh, to develop China as a consumer economy, increasingly mm -hmm. as a consumer economy. Chinese still are big savers. Mm -hmm. But the idea, too, is to recognize China as a increasingly a services economy. Mm -hmm. Because what do consumers want? Consumers want value, added value, services. And, 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 what's, a, and what's, what's, a, what's a very fundamental type of service? Transportation. Electricity is kind of up there, well, too. Well, even in oh. electricity. Yeah. It's not just the production mm -hmm. of electricity. Mm -hmm. It's how you how you get it to the consumer. Absolutely. How it's distributed, where yeah. it's located, where yeah. is the cost. These yeah, are complications. Yeah, all, yeah. So transportation itself mm -hmm. is a service. You know, Lenin, of course, unfortunately brought this bias from Marx. You know, cl well, classical British economists yeah. who tend to emphasize too much the producer in economics yeah. and production mm -hmm. economics. Supply so side. So Lenin, no, well, yeah. that's not. Mm -hmm. That's th that's okay. th that's Don't not. Don't want to get off on another. That's attack. not not th that's a s that's a separate issue. Okay, but the the Mr. Mandel was the father of the supply side. Yeah, but that's, that's not just production; that's mm. investment. Yeah, that's versus finance, consumption. Yeah. Okay. But I wanted to ask. But you but but the but idea was no. that Lenin said distribution is parasitic. Oh, yeah. Lenin never understood that. Wow. Lenin understood production. Lenin didn't understand services. Okay, let me ask a couple of things historically, though, because it must be it must be informing, if that's the right term, the Chinese. Uh, society and everything. To look over their shoulder at the implosion of the Soviet Union in 1979. And I mean, that was. Do you know? And it's kind of interesting. Over our shoulders, we can look too. That all of our intelligence agencies, uh, uh, you know, CIA, DIA, Mossad, M15, and everything, they all missed the uh, coming implosion of the Soviet Union. They didn't realize that the Soviet Union was about to implode. They all were caught surprised by how, that. How it's in, let me just make, yeah, you, talk, you spoke like a Gatling gun. It's all good, <laughs> but you have to just learn to <laughs> listen right, to yeah, it yeah, once yeah. in a while, Robert. I have a take on that, so <laughs> let, <laughs> yeah. let, me, let, me, I know, let me tell but you. It, but it, they did, and they set up, and they had up, and they had like Marx. Mm -hmm. And they made a revolution, what was it, 1917 or something, and then mm -hmm. they had that collectivization under Stalin, 30 million? Mm -hmm. And everything, but they had that. And, and then what the de the Marx came, and they had a theory. And the thing is, the com and that Karl Marx book, that Communist Manifesto, was the Bible for better than half of the population for a very long period of time. When Mr. Kennan wrote his uh, containment thing and everything, and nationalism will come to the pro, and then it imploded. And what they did is they had a very e they had a very sense that uh, private property, private property is an evil institution, and they all but eliminated it, collectivized it, put all the power of the state, the, put all the power of the society, both state, political, and economic power, in the hands of one branch, if it were. Yeah, it was central planning. It centralized it all, all power is there, and it was, it became corrupted. Lord Atkins said power tends to corrupt, it corrupts absolutely, be, because it was the evil institution now. Mao had made a revolution. Had, this is very primer stuff. They made a communist revolution. And I've talked to people from China, and everybody was taught Karl Marx, dialectical materialism, evil institution, imperialists. The West were the imperialists, the opium wars. There was colonization, and they were fighting against the imperialists, and they were also doing that. But they had set up a system that was based upon Marx, or was it? And how did they deal? The Chinese deal with this d dynamic between the private sector, let's call it private sector, or private economy, and the public sector, where in, Chi in Soviet Union they had all put it all in the private, in the public sector, and then it fell apart. So they must be looking at that very carefully and wanting to make sure they keep political control so they don't go the way of the Soviet Union, which they could do. They both had followed uh, interpretations of Marx. 
how do they deal with that question i know that they've become as you say is it no longer is it relevant at all karl marx or the socialist critique of imperialism or any of that left wing thinking that had formed so much of the world and the revolutionary content of the world to address the threat of the imperialists that that kind of thing can you deal with some of those issues the fed large micro issues out of historical context and how are the chinese dealing with it is it schizophrenia or do they ever talk of marx or communism or socialism or any of those terms and how do we deal with those things now that they become another capitalist country joined with us well First of all, mm -hmm. the, 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 the official term is socialist market economy. Socialist market <laughs> economy. That it sounds like they got it right mm -hmm. off uh, Madison Avenue, uh, you know, PR firm. Well, right? that's an yeah. interesting uh, issue. But I wrote an article about this. So you did. I should think it's a major f uh, question. Uh, but uh, to go back to your uh, speaking, first of all, uh, as far as the implosion of the Soviet Union is concerned, no. there's another interpretation. No uh, what? There is another interpretation. Okay, talk to me. And it was thanks to Ronald Reagan and our defense buildup that was financed by Japan yeah. that finally broke the back of Russia well, some people at the point where Russia couldn't compete and diverting as much as it did to military expenses. Yeah, but it couldn't away compete from the because it was out of touch with a, it was out of and touch for other reasons. with all the power in the Nomad Kapura. Well, not only that. And the Politburo. Well, all power all in one also, group. Also, no that checks. Also, that part, that kind of sort it was of in an operative that kind thing. of internal corruption, internal corruption right. and hypocrisy, right. and other things like Stalin's decision in the nineteen to collectivize in Stalin's decision in nineteen fifty six to declare computer basically computer science, but let's say symbolic logic, mm -hmm. which is the basis of computer programming. It was declared to be bourgeois logic. Uh, and bourgeois, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's so why did Russia larger. fall behind in computer programming yeah. and so on? So yeah. just certain mistakes yeah well I understand that but, um, uh, but so it was in uh, it was not it, it was not able to deal with the uh, you know other than making big rockets to go to the moon it could make big things but uh, in a macro in a micro kind of way it couldn't yes operate but there were because other people they eliminated like Nancy, the private there sector. Was, there were there were great advances in things like linear programming and so yeah. on and, and, the, and the proponents of this were you know for political and other reasons were, were, were so were the whole left-wing so. socialist critique of imperialism and capitalism is just gone from the Eurasian landmass, no, is no, that it, or no. what? Or what do they do? They still read China, Marx. China. Do they teach Marx anywhere yes, in they China? Do, yes, and they. Well, how do they teach? Yes, him? They, how do they. Yes, they do. Doctor up the story. As yeah, it yes, they do. And st mm. students, everybody understands this. But you can also understand Mar the Marxism as a historical critique or a kind of hi hi historical a theory or an explanation of history. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, and mm. you un and and keep in mind that China was coming out of a thing called the Qing Dynasty, the last dynasty, which mm -hmm. was responsible for a lot of the ills. You know, the Chinese blame foreigners, but it's also this Qing Dynasty that basically gave the country away, this, uh, headed by, you know, the last, the Dowager Empress, for example. And, um, and uh, uh, f you know, that's only a hundred years ago. Uh -huh. that China came, came, came out of that. So, uh, uh, you know, to really. Then you had the Kuomintang, and you had the yes, Chiang Kai shek, the and these, you had the you know, Long March, these are and you very had the brief, Communist thing. These are, this is and a very brief period mm -hmm. between that and the, and the, uh, and the revolution, uh, and the final revolution, or what's, what's called. Us out. What's called the New China, yeah. which the Chinese refer to as what, New China. Is that from Mao? At that when you mentioned Xinhua, that's just the ter term. Uh, uh, that's how China has referred to that this modern period as the new. It begins China, with Mao, 1948. 48. That's right. right and it freaked out. Remember, Mr. McCarthy going around. Who right. lost China? Who right. was the people in the State Department that lost China? Or but anyway, to, uh, to, 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 to get and we were all freaked out about the communist conspiracy. Remember how we were all concerned about the commies? Is that all gone now? Oh, I mean, there's no point in talking about it. In general, in general terms, there's there no reason. There are They've other, lost. No, there, there's, what, what is, what the is. Left -wing the left-wing critique What's going lost, on yeah. between mm -hmm. the China, in the China-U.S. relationship mm -hmm. are two tracks. Mm -hmm. There's the economic track and there's the so-called geopolitical track. The political economy. The geopolitical. It used to be called political economy back in the well, old days. Well, let me, let it's me still refer to. still good to link to. the two together. No, I, would, I wouldn't even call that the political economy. The geopolitical track. Well, mm. All right. The economic track is free trade and, and, uh, and, and WTO and China as a member of the world economy and strong interlinkage between the United States and China. They've teamed up with the imperialists, right? 
They've it's teamed the, up with the imperialists, the, the former enemy. What? It's the world right? economic system. Every, yeah, but the world. Every large, yeah, but it, they call. They used you know, to call Russia's them. They used to, to call, be a member of They this used group. to call that the right. imperialists, right. Right. right? That's what they called the imperialists. Marx would. Have. Anyway, I mean, and the uh, Chinese and the Chinese referred they to. They teamed the, up with the imperialists. The Chinese referred to this relationship as win-win. Uh -huh. Benefits China, benefits the United States. Increasing interconnection, China interrelationship. China is supplying us with Walmart. Go into a Walmart late at night. You know, look at look at look at the pe look at the people and they're buying. But you can just TVs, you can, buying, but Robert, buying I asked you a thing. Buying things. They have. It's all right. People it's all right. Have dream, it's all right because of. it's a loaded term. We're talking loaded terms. Yeah, Every, right, it's right. all PR everywhere. It's all political PR. We understand that. You don't have to mince words. But what has happened is the Chinese government, under a com what was a communist system, has teamed up with what they called the imperialists, right? I mean, it's okay. You can just no, say it. It's no, true. No, because but we weren't imperialists. No, because or the West because the, imperialism no. is a geopolitical term. It's I'll a get, propaganda I'll get, term. No, it's a geopolitical category. Right. I'll get to it. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. Economy, market the private economy, marketeers the economy, looting the world. The econo economy Colonization. Is, is another issue. Well, imperialism. East India Company. Imp imperial Opium war. Imperialism implies military kind of military domination, right. military enforcement, and so on. Like what not the United States is not exerting now. Not mutual interest. What drives the economic relationship between China and the United States, as the Chinese perceive it, is mutual interest, mutual benefit, win-win. There's okay. no concept so the people, of imperialism the people in that, that they, part the of the people relationship. Of the world, the relationship. people, the, 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 the element of the world, the geostrategic or the political economic element of the world that they used to call imperialists are no longer called imperialists, and the imperialists have either changed or no. they've made their peace with what no. they called the imperialists. There is another Why are you so averse to using no. the term imperialist? I th That's what they always no, called it. No, there is another context which I will now talk about. Okay. That's the geopolitical context. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's an, a, a whole other air. Uh, uh, how, how, there's a whole other interpretation. There's a whole other c c concern or. Part of the government, if you like, oh. the defense establishment, yeah. and so on. Uh -huh. We we have we have and we have this in our. Are country. you talking America or China? You both. Get both. You, okay. Both. Yeah, China okay. has its own defense establishment. They do. I'd like to talk. It How many atomic bombs it do it they ha have? It has its own. It has its own, you know, geopolitical infrastructure. Specialists, right. think right. tanks, right. people that think in terms of war and defense and national interests and war these games, kinds of things. All that stuff, just like we do. Yeah. People mm. think in this kind of national strategic frame of mind right. okay All right. which is not the same as the economic commerce frame of mind okay yeah, and we the have the same are connected, we have they? the same not necessarily not okay they s they're sort of mutually exclusive because when you have an international trading system and and where 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 parties are closely mutually independent you yeah. start having integration all right, and you start having less, you know, jockeying where a cut, where you know, or or a superpower, no, or or, or a, 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 no, a notion where where countries are. Well, I can remember when British used to, to rule you know, in, in, in the in the colonies in North right. America, and they say we have a great interrelating to sing, or when the Raj was operating in India, they say we have a great working relationship yeah. with the but people listen, of the East India Company, that and was it was not, called colonialism. Yeah, that was colonialism, and it was one it way. Yes, and they, but they, but the people in London. Didn't say we're over there exploiting them. No, that wasn't. They wouldn't say that. That wasn't trade. Mm. Trade implies exchange. That wasn't exchange. That was, you know, if they want to, you want to use the categories of uh, exploitation. exploitation yeah. right. That would be perceived as t taking. That yeah. wasn't an exchange. That's what it was. Someone in a weak position. And that's what but led in the, the case Marxist, of trade. In the, the Marxists case to 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 uh, to see the private property and the private property and the extension of that power as an evil institution. And the Marxists and the Maoists would talk about imperialism. So any, in our lifetime, any, anyway, to, what, what did they mean when they talked about when Mao said we're going to fight the imperialists, or when they fought in Korea, or when we fought in, and they said George Kennan's notion of the containment. They were you got the big out. red amoeba, the commies. Remember, the commies were coming out of the central 
and you got the heartland oh, taken bad. over by the commies and everything. And they were coming out, and we fought in Vietnam, killed four million people, and so forth to fight that. We fought in Korea. What was that fighting China, about? And what listen, were the Chinese saying China, about China, who they were China fighting? China came out of a very difficult history. Yeah, the nineteenth century, for one thing. Yeah, and these foreign powers coming in, the Germans taking taking part part of Northeast China. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and Germans of course, were part of Northeast China. Yeah, a little bit really? around Qingdao. You, you, really? you, you heard of Qing, Qing Tao? Everybody can buy Qing Tao beer. In the s in those green bottles in the supermarket. I don't drink in beer. The no, I don't drink beer. Anywhere you go I drink here, ginger ale. where you buy beer, uh -huh. that's green China. That's uh -huh. from a city called Qingtao that okay. was occupied by uh -huh. Kaiser Wilhelm took over that. Really? Those Germans. Okay. They were kind of late entry. Well, forget really. about British that. British were All really over good China, at with their opium. The Qing dynasty opened. Just get somebody, foreign entity wants this. Say, here, take it. Mm -hmm. The Japanese wanted this. Here, take but it. Yeah, the people okay. that but are on the power always say we've got that's a great not relationship with all Listen, these satraps. That's not to blame the Qing Dynasty, but even the Marxists, the Mao would critique this was a feudal system. It was mm -hmm. a giveaway to foreigners. Mm -hmm. The foreigners were to blame, yes, the imperialists, mm -hmm. but also yeah, but there you use we the were term. themselves see, it's not so hard to, to blame. Use the term. Let's it's not so hard no, to use I'm the term. No, I'm paraphrasing. You can use it because you're okay. just satirizing the, 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 the chicanery of public right. relations and uh, political okay. spin. Okay, understand that. Imperialists. Okay, but understand where That's China... That's us. I, I understand where China is coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I described it as... Yeah, a, yeah, but you're I just described try, it you're as a mutual... You're trying to spin it. I described it as a mutual process where... Yes, there, there were. What there used to be there might be what you would call greedy foreign so the, powers, the, the, but, the but you had a you had a compliant the ruling greedy system. The greedy imperialists have now internally. become workable trade pe partners. Instead of greedy imperialists, it's a totally exerting their situation. power no, and so forth. You can't say that because that would be like what saying the current government is like the Qing dynasty. What does it? You know, that doesn't what does make any sense. They're giving away the country. What does the period? Because you're you. He happens to be. Let very, me. You, you're the only person I know, Bob. I think. That really, I think, and I don't want to put you on the spot. Or yeah. You actually support George Bush. Yeah. Am yeah. I am I right? And you're a yeah, Republican. Yeah, yeah. It's very rare. You have to realize how rare it is in Manhattan to meet somebody that is a Republican. You know, I, it, it's good to do it. Maybe you could fill well, us Mayor in. Mayor Bloomberg's <laughs> a Republican. What are you well, that's true. About? Our mayor. Yeah. yeah. But I. But, but I anyway, mean, look. You know, uh, I mean, you know, well, 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 let me. Let me. Let me just. It's, it's really let interesting. Let me finish. It, it's it. like an anthropologist. Well, we'll, I'm trying we'll to get understand to that. the consciousness. We'll, we'll, we'll get and it, to, we'll the get use to that. of the word imperialist is something okay. that interests me. What does it connote but listen, to you? Let me in the Japanese. I mean, between a powerful entity and a less powerful. Well, another example is the Japanese. But no, no sooner. they were an No sooner had that ended. All right. And 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 you and, and you have the establishment of republic, and you have back and forth, and mm. then you have the emperor reestablished, and so on, and mm. finally you have a Japanese occupation mm. of China. Yeah, all this has happened. Mao comes Did along. Did you know Irish and, Chang? And he's talking about mm. imperialists. Yeah. Well, right. He, he, the he, communists talked well, about. The left had, wing talked about. It. Yeah. They they had a yeah. they had a very recent me memory of classical imperialism, of what, classical imperialism mercantilism, you know, mercantilism, and, 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 yeah. and, 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 and the over-the-top version uh -huh. was the Jap was ja the Japanese occupation uh -huh. of Manchuria. Rape well, eventually, well, and World War II yeah, and, and, and so on. It was awful. Well, it'll be the History 70th anniversary is a this year. Yeah. All but right. you know, through it but all, when you want to understand where he's all, coming from, yeah. he's coming. They're 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 emerging from this this recent experience. They're, they're and, the, you know, China's exper emerging. No, when Chairman Mao mentioned these oh, things uh, you're talking uh, about, they're uh. coming out of a very recent experience of this. Thing. Well, aren't so we all? That's what he. That's aren't what we he all was coming expressing. Out of the James Joyce said, uh, yeah. "History is a nightmare from which I'm attempting to awaken." Right. We're all sort of coming out of a nightmare. Did you ever read Cecil Rhodes? Ever rode Cecil Rhodes and the racism that was there in Africa, or the American Indian, yes. or the slaves that were held? You know, it's all a big history. I mean, history is a nightmare in terms of perhaps where we're going and so forth. But when, but I, I'm trying when to I talk it, about the geopolitical factors, yeah, all right. this is another set of people that don't really understand, many often, many of whom didn't study economics even political scientists that are not economists, but more the political side. Yeah. All right? That's their, that's their life. They tend, mm -hmm. That kind of person tends to see the world in different ways. No. It tends to identify nations and groups as having interest and so on and start thinking about spheres still of influence the basis in of this sovereignty kind of is the nation state, is it not? I mean, the, it's still the nation state is the basis of sovereignty. Well, I mean, I we, mean have, all we have these kinds, yes. But yeah. the, the issue is to what extent that becomes the dominant frame of mind or the national or, the, or the economic 
frame or or the economics becomes a dominant frame of mind. They serve All each right? other, don't they? Well, uh, sometimes they're contradictory. And they serve certain not. special interests. But just interests. just j they just just to give you an example, yeah. someone would say, "Oh, you're a sellout." You know, may, there might be a Who's mutual. A Who's saying that? Someone to could be. Well, someone. The Chinese let's, are let's a sellout. Let's say a country could you could say. The Chinese oh, are for, selling for out. mutual benefit, we will have. You know, tra we we we'll, we'll, we'll integrate economically with yeah. these other people. But yeah. hey, we got to give up some of our sovereignty. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a sellout. We should be in control. We should control our national industries and right. so on. Yeah. So that sort of geopolitical mindset that I want to call yeah. Yeah. is sort of compromised well. for economic reasons. And then the issue is yeah, but those going mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. you do you have in in both countries. Right. We both have an establishment. You're talking about both countries. China, well, United well, States. You're talking now. All right. Yeah. Let me talk about both and countries. let me talk about Republicans. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All Iraq. Right? And you talked about Iraq and so on. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's a mess. You you mentioned you know I heard you in another conversation where you're talking about nuclear weapons. There's one group in this world today in the world that actually wants to produce and use nuclear weapons uh -huh. right now. Al Qaeda. Uh -huh. All right. So it, it, I, I support George Bush doing anything necessary. For pe for pe to, to people like that. Well, now, listen, another listen, point. Bobby. Listen, listen, Bobby. Listen. Another, to another you point. You know, one of the problems uh, is now uh, we don't have commies to kick around anymore uh, because they've sold out to us. Now, here's right? here's a, here's. So we got to have somebody. We got to have the A rap. Here's here's the wogs. Here's here's another point yeah. I'm going to make, and maybe mm. it's a little critical. There's mm. some who are saying China and the U.S. Ha are, are are aligned, in my yeah. opinion, strategically. In the, on the issue of terrorism and 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 uh, and uh, what I want to call, well, in any event, uh, ethnic ethnic separatism and and and, the, and those issues. Uh, it's loaded language. I, let's it's say, thin language let's you're say, giving let's here say now. Let's say Islamism. Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, it's separatism. called the Islamo fascist now. Well, it's the Islamo fascists that are the issue. big thing that we got to well, fight against. Well, I think against somebody so wants to establish and a non somebody war. who wants to establish a, a you know a 14th century. Caliphate. Well, you see, you're okay. right in your interpretation. I've talked to people. I've talked to people, Bobby. Otherwise, look, you've got a world six billion heading for ten and so forth. You got a system they in place. They want to establish a feudal system. No, I'm in talking the world. about the system that's in place. No, Al Qaeda wants to establish well, a be. feudal system. Okay. No, you're, you're putting your interpretation. Uh, that's, that's you're putting your interpretation. Now, let me put that's my interpretation solid. on what you're talking about. What you've got, you got a historical thing that's coming. And it's coming along, and we're coming out of a hi nightmare. It's a nightmare of history. We've got a great capability and so forth. And what we have is a system that's in place that is thought of as being the international consensus and is thought of as being historically legitimate. Mm -hmm. That would be the United States of America. They're, they assume, and they want the world to assume, that their view of the world is historically inevitable and legitimate Against but that other doesn't things, justify. Right? Is that right? That doesn't that's justify. The, that's the that that doesn't take. justify the means of Al Qaeda. Well, you can't. Not, ju well, your you, your critique of that cannot be used to justify any type of human action and murder and 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 setting off a nuclear bomb inside New York just because it attacks something that you may criticize. No, okay? I made a point. Every and now opposition. You bring up something else. Every opposition to that is not. Justified. They called all right, they, that they, end. See, don't you right? understand the spin? In, in, in other I mean, words, don't you understand the people are getting the enemy, hit to the fact the that enemy you're of your language. the enemy of your enemy is mm. not necessarily your friend. No, Particularly you Particularly when the moral when the mor you know when when when, when the, the moral, moral march issue of history is, is on the no. side of the legitimate it's order. It's not an issue We're legitimate. of the end justifying We're legitimate. the means legitimate. They're here. not. And they, and you know what they call it? Louis the I mean uh, George the Third called George Washington a terrorist. They called Nelson Mandela a terrorist. What a terrorist is is somebody they who they defies. They didn't target to set off a nuclear bomb inside, well, you know, a in a major economic that's center a and destroy the they world economy. No, Al-Qaeda's Al Al objective is to destroy the world economy. That's Period. your spin. Collapse. They that's say your it. Spin. They say it. They do that's it. That's your spin. We used to get the same thing about the commies are coming. Mm -hmm. It's the no, commies. We, we have to that. hide under duck no, and cover. No, in fact, that we don't, system. We don't care about the you know, commies we're not, now because they've sold out. You know, we're to an order we're that not, assumes legitimacy. We're not for mutually assured destruction. That was a much more comfortable world because you didn't have that. You, so you, you think you, it's okay it's now that there is not mutual? It's just unipolar destru mutual destruction because we represent 
the march of history, because liberation, you've got people, freedom, basically all the you good have people values, that don't all have mother any, and apple pie. We you got you apple pie. Out there we represent everything good, anything and we have complete lose. control. We can establish not we can full spectrum dominance on the whole planet. We are Rome. We can do it, and anyone who is standing up against that can be called a terrorist conveniently, because the the major opponents. Russia has gone into this dustbin of history, and China has sold out to us. They've joined us in league with that, at least that leadership of well, China. Well, first of all, when you say That's they... That's another way you, of saying things. You have, to, you have to be very careful when you say they and us. Yeah. Who is us? Ha, us being, in your interpretation... See, we're, it's, the thing is, we're so used to I mean, from, you know, from what I hear, so from what I hear of you, Harold, to go us for you means Al-Qaeda. No, they're the part us, of you. you know what the us they're, means? They're, they're, you know what the us, us means, really? You know. The us means... The masses of the people who have been screwed over throughout all of human history and are continuing to be screwed over by the few people, the 10%, who own everything, run everything, and live in eight-star hotels while the masses of the people see their children China, starve. They listen, don't have a system listen, in place. Listen, they Harold. do not have a system in place collectively China. that's going to serve the masses of the people. Something is Harold, needed other than Harold, this nonsense Harold, that's China, being given out China's by the Western China, powers and calling it China, legitimate. China's, they got to be challenged China, fundamentally. China is the most populous country in the world. Yeah, 1.2 right? billion. And in my experience traveling around China, Chinese are all very happy. They're all very, very happy. What are those 80,000 demonstrations? The Chinese, the Chinese. 80,000 demonstrations last year, and that's against uh, you know a, a police state. I mean, you can't uh, Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square cannot even be mentioned. They got uh, Google yeah, censored, do, that kind of thing. What are all the people that are protesting against it? Chinese government could very well fall under the weight of the tyranny that they have, and they're exerting under their political control over everything. The There's China nothing says that it's inevitable. You, you mentioned those demonstrations. And the United Listen States system could me. be brought into serious question on a quantitative, qualitative, changed world situation that they do not have a vision that is required. Listen, about those demonstrations, mm -hmm. government, the government talks about those demonstrations. Last year at the National People's Congress, they recognized those demonstrate. They recognize what what's been going on. They recognize with them the Tiananmen. No, what happened? What's been going? On, what's been going on with peasants and so on? In the in yeah. the, the raw deals Six they've gotten 80, for land. Sixty-eighty thousand demonstrations. That's not I something read. it's been denied. That's not something oh. it's being oh, okay. denied. But it's that's 80, a current 000, that's problem. That's a lot. If you want to dig up stuff. Eight hundred thousand people and less that's than a dollar a day. That's two dollars a day. Eight hundred thousand. Uh, eight hundred million under eight two dollars a day. The peasants, like if, always, if are being want, screwed if, if over, if and they're being exploited by people who are coming into exploiting like slave labor. Incomes are rising in China. Everybody's happy about that. Well, who's happy? Everybody's always happy about. Always the people in the country, no. in the capital. Everybody's happy. happy. In Rome, the emperors were happy. Everybody's happy. The finance about capital percent. guys on K Street are happy. There's a few people, ten percent maybe of the world population, and every political economy lives great in big hotels. They're living great, and all the wealth is going to them. Did Why wouldn't they be happy? The only thing is, the, unfortunately, the walk masses walk of the people Beijing. are still not being Listen treated. They around, are not being treated properly walk or around, what's required. Walk around Beijing. You, you, know what, you know what people are looking for? Talk to the young people. Talk about everything. First of all, young people are thinking of one thing. They want Probably a looking job. to get a drink no, they, or getting a job. They want a nice yeah. job. Okay. Number mm -hmm. one. But in general, what are people looking for? They want a car. They want a house. They want a raise next year. Mm -hmm. That's what they're thinking of. Yeah. All right? Yeah, that's what you're thinking. But that's of. not the point, though. That's not the but point. But if this, if if there's a, if so, if something happens, and they see that's not going to be possible, you're going to have some pretty unhappy people there. Right. So you got a big Good. challenge in that country right. to manage this economy properly. Well, you have the same the problem. You have the same problem here. And bring this dream to fruition. You don't see you know? things coming up into a crisis in this country as well. It's a it's a management yeah, issue. Yeah, no, no, it depends no, on how you manage what it. What I'm trying to tell you, Bob, is that the West or the United States, and it isn't just the Republicans, it's the Democrats. It's got things that are going on in terms of the environment, the whole environment, the whole zeitgeist and so forth, requires something that the systems that we've inherited out of history, including a good deal of our economic theory and the way we think and so forth, simply does not meet the needs of the masses of the people and never will. They're like slaves who still live in well, a slave I, I, system. Yeah, yeah, you're not seeing that. We, in China. we live in a slave system. It's a wage slave system. Those people going into those factories go in there because they have to. Sure, sure, the the darkies had to go into the cotton fields. They're wage slaves, and you got 10% of the population 
own well, all the assets. They're starting to say they're the getting people, wealthier now, in now, every now economy you, around the world, and you don't have a vision that this so-called legitimacy of the American or the Western vision that they claim legitimate is not adequate to I'm what's tell required. You that's Where would the alternative I'm going to tell you something from? that's going to shock you. You know what it oh. is, Howard? Mm -hmm. The Chinese love to work. The workaholics. They, they falsify your theory that human beings don't like to work. Well, what, what has that got to do with anything they about love to not work. want to work? They're, they're, they're labor-loving, not leisure-loving. What has that leisure got to do loving. with anything I said? But I'm there's something inhuman about a, you know, a no, wage, a no, wage no, mechanism. No, you there's cannot. Something that's inhuman bullshit. About that's having to work. That's, a, that's, that. a, that's, that's part that's, of your spin. You know, it's part that, of your that spin. That, that's part of the spin of the whole system. That the ultimate system. economic system is a leisure system where there's no work. No, that's, that, told no, me where that the before. input, where the input to production yeah. is not. Or any maybe all the work is done by machines. What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, uh, what we have some applause. Oh, right. I don't know what. We're just talking. That's all. I understand. Yeah, with my good old friend here. But, but I anyway, mean, Harold. No, the well, input to pr that's uh, if you want one, we want one idea that really is not addressed by any of the. And systems by the that way, the, the whole Marxian the, system it was is. a glorification of labor. It doesn't matter whether it's your your not leisure. Let me say something. Let me say something. It is. It, it doesn't matter if it's Marx or laissez-faire capitalism, or Mundell, they're all the same as far as the basic grounding premise. It's the labor theory of value because we have all economies that are set up on the assumption that it's labor that produces wealth, and it's not labor that's no, producing capital wealth, produces it's capital. Wealth also. Yeah, but it's all owned by a tiny group in every political economy, mm, that's and not the true. people are wage slaves. Yeah. You got a few people set the template in Pension, every economy. The last time I checked, pension funds own most of it, and that's, every, uh, that's, that's a good part of the population. Of the world? Yeah, in this country. No, 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 no. My no. father used to tell me something, Harold. Okay, you tell know, me. My father, was, uh, he, my father actually taught me about Marx when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. He was okay. Uh, wasn't. My father said, in his opinion, the United States was the closest to achieving Marxism because of the ownership, the wide share, the, the degree of the spread of share, share of, of share capital that's ownership ridiculous. in this country. It's owned by a uh, tiny group. It's about true. this go high. Check. You got a few 401ks go, and go, stuff go like look, that. Go look at People, the institutional. The, the there's a thing here called the institutional investor. And go, 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 and go and, I know and, it. and see who controls it. Are it's you not, trying to say we have, an economic we, have an economic we have an economic distribution of the ownership of capital assets but in we the have, American we economy? Have sort of we have sort of what you would call you managerial. You think we have an economic, have an economic kind of democracy? Ca capitalism. We have an economic democracy? Are you trying to say that? Uh, we have it is an oligarchic group, plutocracy. Everyone knows it's an oligarchic plutocracy. It's a few people. It's always been. You had the emperors of Rome. You had the kings of the dynasty state. Now you got the finance guys with their K Street from the thing, and they're trying to push off a you legitimate know, you know, you notion you of what they've got. And what they've got is not adequate to what the future requires. It's going to come from somewhere. It's apparently not going to come from our Maoist brothers. They've sold out mm -hmm. to this system, and the system is out of date with what's required. Where it's going to come, it might come actually from the. Uh, Muslims, they've got some ideas. I've talked to some people. They picked up on something. They take out of the equation the labor theory the world, of value. The, the poorest and, and almost and the insignificant are part the of the world economy. You should listen to Mr. Mohatir of uh, of of he you know who, who critic who, and, and also yeah, now, now Badawi of of Malaysia, which is one of the few successful Muslim economies and what he's what he's had to say about his Muslim brethren and their failure. Well, he's had some pretty right, good things to, to say about their, the United their, States their, of America, their, their the International economy. Monetary yeah. Fund, and, we're, and the international system that claims legitimacy. And they've got and who's got the atomic bombs that can wipe and by everybody the way, out? And who's got the atomic religion, bombs that can religion, wipe everybody religion, out? Religion, religion, the opiate of the people, is the driver of Islamism. Suddenly, those you're not those, saying that to me. Those, those, that's those, not the case. Those who that's attach not the religion case. That's now not necessarily you know, the attach case. themselves. Yeah, but that's a, not a it, what it is, that's Bobby. You're talking by spin. You're mm -hmm. talking right wing oh, spin, yeah. and it's okay. I understand. We're talking right wing spin, but then there's what's another right wing thing. About it? You got you what's got right wing about the fact that the, that the, that 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 because that, that, that those the societies the are because the religious. because the enemy of the or that those systems are basically if, if you identify them as, as Islamic or Muslims or are, used to be are, th are theocratic. Uh -huh. No, they're not. No, it's not necessarily the case. Well, and Sharia it is. Sharia is not. Yes, it is. It does not have to be. There might be hope in Sharia. Mm -hmm. There might be hope. I had a group of people that were coming from the and Indonesia. And ask the women. Economists. And what about the status of women? 
Well, if you want to talk about the status those, of women, those countries. Oh uh, well, and the suppression I, of women and and, and about what, what about Saudi Arabia? What about these. why can't a woman just we're go out and you know, why does she have to be be covered? Why 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 can't why, we're why can't women have freedom in those countries? Why are they controlled by men? Why are they controlled yeah, by why men are they all allowed over the world? Why have they been no, controlled no, by men all over the world? No, kept in the house, not allowed to drive a what car. What you're trying to say is the United States of America right. is, in fact, practically after all the all of human all of evolution, well, you know, you 99 percent of the species have died out. But and it comes out at the end, and at the end, we're coming to the end of time. We're getting weapon systems that can destroy the whole species. It's an existential new condition, and we can still keep going with the old system. And as it look by mistake. It happened to be America is the model that's relevant to the whole world. We've got the system that's in place, and if everybody just is like they did with Rome, we can set it straight, we can set them straight, set them straight, full spectrum dominance, and that's what's being advanced. Do you know, do you know what kids, go, go, go to Muslim countries, go look at what kids I've been to one okay. Muslim country that might stand apart mm, from all the others. We can read about in the front page of the New York Times today, which is Libya, but they're changing, okay? Gaddafi's going for you know, economic reform, not political reform. Okay, so you got you a China. You don't know what you're talking you about. Read With the front page respect, of the New York Times. First of all, look at the very picture small. of Visa International. No, everybody says in the China hotel. Is, the, okay. is growing. Eight, nine percent is growing. It's a giant. It's the future. It's going to eat our lunch. All that bo that talk that goes on in those circles and everything like. Uh, that. The not, only country in the world. I'm going to suggest it may be wrong. A political ending. We're all caught up in outdated systems. Like the feudalism was all caught. Up. That's what I'm essentially. And, and it's from the Marxists to well, the yeah, but, but you, you the outdated, you're, the you're, world, you're advocating The feudalism. only country in the world that might be in touch, like the United States of America by the, the feudal states of Europe in 1789 were thought of as bumpkins because they had all the palaces. They had all the big wigs at the Versailles Treaty, and they had legitimacy. They all thought the Enjant regime was legitimate. You mean 1789, People, 1789 not I meant 1789. They had, they had legitimacy, all right? Now, the United States thinks it's legitimate, historically. Know, it's the pattern for the world. But the animation. one country that might stand apart from that, the same way the United States of America stood as an example to U feudal Europe because an industrial revolution was coming, a post-industrial revolution, the one country that might stand as a model is Libya. In Libya, they, well, did, they the set up a business. Today, they yeah. don't distribute income by wages. And it read the, read they the don't distribute. Listen today, to me. They yeah. don't distribute income. We distribute income. Everybody's a wage slave. Mm -hmm. We don't distribute income. They don't distribute income by wages. They try not to. Uh, they attack the idea that everybody has to be an owner of the capital assets of their mm -hmm. of a, of an entity that they start here. The capital assets are all owned by a tiny group. Krugman wrote a piece the other day, and the growth of the American economy in the last three years, it didn't go to the great masses of the people. It didn't go to 5%, even 10%. The real growth didn't even go to the upper 1%. The real growth <coughs> didn't even go to the upper one-tenth of 1%. The real growth went to one one-hundredth of 1% one of the population of the United States. That's where the real growth went. And where went. did it go? It went to the people and, and, that and were at the very they, top and, and who had the capital and, and asset they, ownership. What did they do with that? What did they do with that? that I suppose that, they invested results. it as they could. They set the template for everybody else. We're all picking up leaves on the estate well, of the people so who own it. So what are they doing? You've with got that a money? system it's that's out of date the, the same way that the feudal system was out of date in 1976. Libya may be a model that has an example of having a democracy that will democratize the economy and the way capital is formed. If that money is being reinvested, we need it. If that money, if that money is being reinvested in the economy efficiently it's it, do, it doesn't seem to me that that's you know that you know if you're talking about you're talking about the French Revolution you're talking no, we're about talking, like the French we're talking about a revolution to attack to subsume mm -hmm. the American example that is extended as as an example that is for the I mean, ages because you're talking it has about to a be decadent or aristocracy and, no, no, a, and no. a wealth class in the United States that yeah. knows how to invest capital efficiently. I mm -hmm. think there's a big difference. Well, they thought they did, too. No, they didn't think they did, too. Okay. You know, they, well, they you got a rationale. Yeah, I'm making that point historically. One of the problems is it's so fun talking to you. We always have yeah, such I a know. good time. Well, we you do didn't this let program. me talk doing great work. Time. Oh, don't tell me. I kind of <laughs> got a word in edgewise, but it's always good to talk to you. But I think a fundamental revolution is coming in America has to be subsumed within a much larger system. There may be examples. But what I want to, what I want. But we're out of time. It's yeah. your pleasure to Wait. have the perception of Robert jo Robert uh, Blom, and he's over in China. And uh, bomb voyage back, my brother, yeah, sure. and everything okay. like that. And so, um, I guess we've run out of time. But um, it's good to see you always. Yeah, it is, Harold. Yeah. Okay.
But I really think there's a revolution. Do you don't <laughs> think there's revolution? You think the system in place? China's going George through a revolution Bush? right now. Oh, it's not. It's just no, a it bunch is. of fat no, cats living in it's SUVs. It's not fat cats. Believe me. Go, and it's go the same old thing. The gated people. communities. They're, They're getting it's the gated communities. Nine-star hotels. They're building it. It's, it's all going to the few.